Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet & Clank Future Tools of Destruction. Previously, we went through Kortog and Fastoon. On Kortog, we picked up our first Hollow Plan, which is uh, something that we're going to be able to continue doing on Moocow. We're going to get our second one here. We also got our ship on Fastoon, which was pretty nice. And uh, we've upgraded a bunch of stuff, and Moocow is the Imperial Fight Festival. Which, you know, we kind of think is a trap. There are four gold bolts here. That's crazy. How many have we gotten elsewhere? Zero out of zero. Zero of two. Again, we're just going to have to fly for those, most likely. And one of one. So we're not doing terribly. And I might remember where a few of these are, but we also don't have the ability to get one of them unless we get the uh, gadget that is required here. But I don't think we do. Anyway, let's blast off. So, the past couple episodes have been pretty long. I don't know how that's going to turn out this time. Uh, that would make the Let's Play really short, like, video number-wise. If I kept doing videos that are like two planets or that long, probably. Not sure if there's a cutscene. Probably is. Ahoy there, young scallywag! This be common slack. Scourge of the galaxy! Surrender your vessel! Or be cast to the depths of the universe. Space combat. Oh yeah! I forgot this game has uh, space combat handled a little bit differently. This in this, it's a level that's designed specifically. So we don't have any control over our ship Looks for the like most part beyond moving around this screen and shooting. That's all we do. We have a, a machine gun and we have uh, some lock-on missiles. So you just hold L1, that'll allow you to lock on to a few things at once. Uh, if we destroy all of the bonus targets, all those things, and uh, the one where it said bonus target destroyed, then... Darn, I missed. Uh, we get... The on, gold bolt, we'll I guess, or something. So, I already missed one though. Uh, so these could be annoying to get, especially considering the fact that, uh, let me show you. You can't just like pause and quit or restart. You have to finish it and then redo it. So it's going to be annoying to get those in the episodes. Or, well, the episode where I get the remaining gold bolts. But I guess it's something that I'll have to do. Alright. That's going to recharge our health. Destroy the bonus target if possible. See, the thing is that sometimes it's a little bit finicky. Oh, those are mines, by the way. So we want to destroy those. Try not to talk over too much dialogue, if possible. Uh, there are also those bonus targets. And I don't know what those are for. Maybe they're, they're for the gold bolts and the other things are for something else. I don't remember. I will figure it out when it's uh, important to get all of these collectibles. They might just be for a skill point, which I don't necessarily care about. At least not yet. Clank, hop on that turret. Oh, great a turret thing. So now we have no control over the ship. All we do is shoot. Cargo you be Which I mean, I guess it means that I have less dodging to do. But still, I've always kind of disliked turrets and things. And I mean, while space combat here in this game is a bit unique compared to the other games. As is uh, the space combat in Kraken Time, by the way. That's also rather unique. Um, that doesn't mean that I necessarily like it. Because uh, I like the normal platforming elements of these games. So, you know, I just want to do my action platforming. And space combat is just kind of something that has to get done. It's unfortunate that we missed that one target because we've hit all the others. We just want to kill you and plunder your ship. Exercise in the Andromeda system. Let Puffy Pants Wallace take care of this swap. 
So now we know that destroying those is for the gold bolt. And I'm I guess. Up a ahead. Looks like a pirate demolition vessel. Uh, the other things are for something else. So we're fighting a boss. Go figure. And we just shoot at him. You know. And basically, in this boss fight, you don't have to aim anywhere. You just keep moving around the place in the square, basically. And uh, you shouldn't get hit by that. Eventually, he'll start shooting some lasers at us. And, uh, oh yeah, the rockets. Which, again, will just continue moving in a square, and we should be fine. Haven't gotten hit yet. There are also going to be skill points for, like, not taking damage during the entire space fight things. Uh, those are pretty annoying to get. I have... Both of my files, I think I have practically all the skill points. Oh, oh, get away from there. Yeah, I think I have pretty much all the skill points. The only ones that I don't have are, like, getting every enemy in the game to dance. And then something... That's some other stuff that's relatively annoying. So that's... I mean, again... That's something to cover later. Because, like, I still haven't covered the skill points and... Um, challenge modes and stuff in the previous games, and I'll do those eventually, and I'll do this eventually. But for now, we're focusing on finishing all the games before Into the Nexus, because I really want to cover Into the Nexus, like, as it comes out, because that'd be awesome. Got a skill point for Minesweeper, whatever that's for. Guess there's no cutscene that I like. So now we'll go to Moo Cow for the Imperial Fight Festival, which you know it's our arena. So I like arenas. I always have. Look, we see a gold bolt immediately. So I'll try and figure that one out. All right, no cutscene. Don't forget the box Report. physics. I see you managed to decode my ingenious holobite. I have important information for you. Come find me in the arena. All right, Quark. Fine, I'll do that. Don't think I won't. So we got a wall jump up there. Let's armor. Still don't have enough for that. Thirty thousand. Uh, let's see. What weapons could we use? We could use this, or why don't we use the tornado launcher? Again, controlled with six axis. So it's a little bit tedious, but once you get used to it, like I said, you're going to be fine. I didn't mean to do that. We're gonna have to collect those, by the way. Shot for devices. All right, he's got nothing new to sell me. Note that. Anyway, note that. Right, let's get up there. Get three out of six. That's gonna let us in, by the way. Upgrade some stuff. Uh, bolt gain, bolt gain, bolt gain or ammo, bolt gain. <laughs> I like that about some weapons. I didn't check what weapons were new. Shard Reaper. Shard Reaper, I think, is our shotgun, which isn't bad or anything. So I'm probably, I mean, I'll pick it up when I can. That's box physics right there. <laughs> All right, let's just shoot these dudes. Rare titanium's nice. Okay. I want to figure out the gold bolt. That's one of the things I want to do. Oh, really? I missed. And then I killed the spectator. What a nice guy. It's not a big deal. Okay, shoot one of those so we can go over here. Okay, calm down, dudes. And over here, I don't think there's anything else, but gotta destroy the boxes. Boxes are good. Like I said, there is going to be a hollow plan on this planet, and I believe I know how to get it, so it's okay. Worry about that in a little bit, because we still have to get our way into the fight festival, and then uh, figure out where to go from there. But uh, <laughs> it's a little We're bit tedious, I'll say that. Alright, so I can't go in here because that's the way onwards. We've got to do the other thing first. Nothing. There we go. That's something to go up. Maybe not. It's on the other side. I think there's something over here. Maybe not. 
All right. So he was just exploring a little bit, but I'm going to go get that gold bolt that should be up here. Just got a... D oh, hello. At least our nanotech increased. That wasn't a huge concern. Oh, look, one just laying around in plain sight. Okay, that's going to be something we wall jump. I don't know if, um... Ah. Well, that's the other one. Which we can get up to the same way. I'm just trying to figure out... Do we have the thing to make our way into, uh... That wall jump thing? Because the wall jump thing will obviously get us into the... Yeah, we don't have it. Alright, so that's how we get to the gold bolt, I'm willing to bet. But we have all of our pieces now, so I'm just going to buy some ammo. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I don't know if I finished saying it, but anyway. Alright, fine, don't destroy that. There we go. Uh, the the shops heal us. They give us uh, nanotech back to full, I believe. Which is super awesome, but also abusable, of course. Because almost everything is abusable once you start adding mechanics like that. So if ever there's a shop nearby uh, to a fight, pretty much you just won't die. Things to think about. So this is where we're going to get our hollow plan piece. It's also a pretty annoying segment that is easy to mess up on. But let's see, can I, I think, okay, please let me look over there. I think you can do this even though you're not supposed to be able to. You can get up there, but I'll just do it the way it's intended because I messed up the first time. I think though, I'm pretty sure you can get up there. So anyway, we've got to get on one of these. And there are going to be some obstacles for us. But we're just going to jump down here right away because there's rare titanium to be had. A bunch of boxes. So we're just going to pick all of that up. And then somewhere, maybe just these, we're going to find a hollow plan. Right there. Great. So that's two out of I forgot how many. But we're, we're on track. Oops. <laughs> Not a big deal, though, since we have plenty of extra health and stuff. So, like I said, there, there are just going to be obstacles on this Ferris wheel. Can be annoying, but I think we'll be okay. Usually, I believe you're just going to switch as soon as you have that opportunity. Oh, my God. Okay. Don't do what you just did, Ratchet. Yeah, I think we just go back and forth as long as we have to. You might be able to cheese this somehow and just, like skip parts or something. In fact, I'm almost sure you can. And then the we've made it. Camera will catch up to me and then we'll be on the way. Thank you for the rare titanium. We have a lot of it. I don't remember getting this much. I guess it was really easy to upgrade things in this game. Yeah, that looked kind of sketchy. Could have missed it, but the <laughs> game's kind of lenient sometimes. Let's get our bolt multiplier. Or, or just... There we go. Times two bolts is always nice. Just got to start killing things. Plenty of enemies are down here. Toss you guys down. These guys, they are annoying. But we handled them. Because, again, our... Plasma beasts are pretty strong. They're they're very good. Okay, uh, what else do we have? We've gotten the tornado launcher. We have the predator launcher, which we've upgraded a fair amount because that's just what we've been focusing on. We also have that whip, uh, which screw it because we get extra bolts from it. Maybe. <laughs> 
those dudes still drop bolts, and there's something somewhere around here, I think, but don't remember. And I don't see any boxes or anything, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time. There's another obstacle course on uh, the Imperial Fight Festival, by the way, on the planet Mukau. So, like we were going to say. Oh, really? Really? Couldn't be moving to the side? Fine. Get our charge boots here. That's super nice. I love me some charge boots. They save me a ton of time in general. Maybe this was the other path then. Because... Um, let's see, what's over here? Nothing over here. Because uh, this this isn't the one that gets you to the fight festival. It has to be the other path. Because uh, I remember completely different obstacles for that one. And uh, that the... Gold bolt that I'm thinking of was uh, not accessible there, yeah. So that was just to get the charge boots, which is totally fine with me, because charge boots are really convenient. Do I have 30,000 yet? No. So that way... Should lead us to the fight festival. Yes. Glad I did them in that order, because I prefer getting my charge boots before going to the fight festival, which is just kind of the end of the planet kind of deal. So, there... Wow, that's a one-hit kill. I just wanted to get in there, but I guess I need to kill him super fast to do that. Boxes don't respawn, that's fine. Don't expect them to. Is that a surprise? Okay. We toss down a couple plasma beasts. Go in here? No, it's not in here then. Oh, you're still alive! Thought my plasma beasts did a better job of that. Ravager or Shock Ravager is about to upgrade. That's always good. And we can easily upgrade it, which I should have while I was over at the shops, but I'll just do it when I get to the festival or something. So around here is going to be the area we can't access uh, the bolt at. But there's also going to be one that we can access, I think. In fact, I might have actually been right and it was in there. And that was just uh, something that we had to have that gadget to activate. Alright, 183 now, that's good power. Why don't we not die? We're about to get another nanotech up. So that's that's also helpful. Let's see, what are, what are we looking at? I thought it was around here, but it might just be up here. It has been quite a while since I've played this game. Gonna kill you. Maybe not. I think plasma beasts are my solution for those enemies. I don't like one-hit kills, I must say that. I'm also trying to use my shock ravager too much, I guess. Plasma beasts, I think it takes three. So we'll worry about using three. Three indeed, and then it upgrades. Now it does even more crazy damage. This is awesome. Don't need to go up there, although I guess there's some ammo. Hit up that rare titanium. We have a ton of rare titanium. Got one shock ravager. Yeah, it could be in there. Barely made that. There's a skill point on this level later that is like the worst skill point in the game. And I'll show you when I get there, because, oh my goodness, it's so stupid. And it shouldn't be. It seems like it'd be a lot easier than it is, but it just, it, it isn't. Alright, so we toss three of them there, and then three of them here. And suddenly we're golden. Just gonna make sure they didn't hide anything in one of these. Because that's the, that's the kind of thing Insomniac does. But I don't remember one there, and uh, as it turns out, there wasn't one. Alright, let's jump. Big 
There we go. Kill that guy. And of course, it puts you on this side when showing you that there's another side of it. So there's bound to be an advantage up here. Can I, I really can't aim my wrench throw because that's kind of annoying. Shoot all this once. Rare tanium to be had. Maybe something else? I don't know. Just to jump back down, I think. We also have 30,000 now, so we can get that armor. Get over there, and then let's zip line on down. And we're almost there. Okay. Upgrade some stuff. Can probably get all of this done. Barely can't. So we missed a more damage, but voltage multiplier increases the range of its electrical shockwave. That sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> One damage upgrade is all you get. That's fine. We'll complete it soon. Got more ammo, more bolts, all the good stuff. Three hits? Eh, whatever. Okay, so this is where that gold bolt I'm talking about that we can't access is, I think. Okay, we want to go up there. Oh. Don't mess with me. Inside here is nothing. Do want to kill those, because again, bolts is, bolts is good. Bolts is good. But you see this, and we can't destroy it because we need a specific gadget. Tons of rare titanium and a gold bolt. We'll access it later, basically. When we have that ability. But we won't come back for it until the gold bolt episode because just uh, it's, it seems unnecessary. Poor damage to take there, by the way. But now we're okay. So many bolts. Same thing with the rare titanium thing, though. I don't know if, like, destroying things that drop bolts or just enemies give more bolts when you use uh, the weapon that has that upgrade. Nice! Already V4! So strong. 419 is a ton of damage, I'd imagine. Of course, this game is probably like the previous ones, where things just get more and more ridiculous as you continue. We're about to get this to V4 as well. Right now! It'll do about half as much. 210. But it's useful for some enemies, like shield ones, as we learned last time or the time before, I already forgot. Because I'm doing these in big sessions, ideally. Alright, so I don't want to mess with them at close-ish range. Alright, you... Oh, you die in two now. That's awesome. Now I know. Hey, don't shoot at me. Okay, gonna destroy all the... Come on, don't mess with me. I'm just trying to trying to get some stuff destroyed. And I'm using my weapon because, again, I don't know if the bolt multiplier or bolt increase rather affects the things, and I just don't feel like doing it with my wrench and stuff. So, here is our stupid, stupid skill point. That watch me get it first try. You make it across the entire bridge using one charge boots or only charge boots or something, but the timing is so bad that that kind of thing always happens. So I'm not going to spend the time trying, because you could try for hours or you could try for like literally once, and you either just will or will not get it. It seemed kind of random. I could just be missing something horribly. It's entirely possible. <laughs> That's good. We should be safe. I hate not to be safe. Okay, so we still can't quite afford rare titanium thing. But we can get the Shard Reaper. And by the time we're out of the Fight Festival, we'll be able to uh, get the armor for sure, because, you know, bolts and stuff. And it might award us rare titanium as well, which is awesome.
and gentlemen, join me in welcoming our guest of honor, your Kragmite overlord and my new best friend, Emperor Tachyon! Let the battle begin! So as you can see, our, dis our disguise is great, and we are still wearing it. So we've got our Shard Reaper, which is indeed our shotgun, and apparently it's really strong. Because wow, we're one-shotting everybody. I didn't expect that. Guess I'll use it for a little bit, but at the same time, I do want to use my Plasma Beasts a little. We also seem to be able to fire that more quickly, which is nice, because I mean... The more we can get out at once, the better. Look at that range! That range is crazy. Alright, let's not Shard Reaper. We only have two on our quick switch. Unlike in the... At least Up Your Arsenal had three. So, I don't know. I don't remember if Deadlock did, honestly. <laughs> I think that was just two. Don't know why I used that Plasma Beast there. Because those are just bombs. Bombs are going to be pretty easy to deal with. I think they have, like, literally, we can only... Yeah, shoot them once and they die. So that's no problem. And uh, unlike in previous series, I'm going to do the whole arena right now. Because the thing about the arena in this game is that... Um, you beat it, and then you leave, basically. Uh, like, that's the way to get out. Is you have to, you have to beat the arena stuff. And there aren't that many challenges, as far as I know. And this episode already has been long, by the way. Which I'm sure many of you are happy about. Alright, nope. Let's control that back over there. The idea of controlling a tornado is pretty cool. Like, that's one reason I do like the weapon. It's also very strong, for sure. Oh, we lost it. No, did we? I don't know. Sometimes it's questionable, because, like, my controller just stopped vibrating there, and so I didn't know. Now, let's shard reap this guy, because, wow, the damage is silly good if it hits, because apparently it's pretty inaccurate. There's another weapon that uh, reminds me kind of of this one, even though they're not all that much alike. They're kind of going to be our mini turrets for the game, and uh, those are the nano swarmer. Yeah, nano swarmers. <laughs> What was this name? I missed it. I forgot. It's fine. We'll be able to tell soon. This giant but this should be a pretty easy fight. Okay, we stop shooting when he does that because he's not going to be taking damage as far as I know. Now he's going to suck me in so we just run back. Keep shooting at him. Jump over the guns. No problems. Oh, now he pushes me away. Okay, so that's done. Nope, that's the one I wanted. God, those do a lot of damage. This is how I got a lot of the experience that I got. I won helipods. Oh, helipods. I forgot about them. Yeah, that's how I got a lot of my experience. Just killing them over and over. It's very easy. Congratulations! You remind me of me when I was a young fighter. Only shorter and less strapping. Quark, do you mind telling us what you're doing working for Tachyon? Oh, just a little thing I like to call saving the universe. There I was, surrounded by Tachyon's minions, perched on the brink of certain death, staring into the icy precipice of the inevitable. I knew I had to take action. I engaged my foes, channeling days of kung fu classes, and dispatching my crouching kitten style with lethal precision. But alas, these rock-hard pecs and unbridled machismo can only hold out for so long. After destroying two thousand of them, my lucky shot rendered me unconscious. For the safety of the good citizens of Kurwan, I swore allegiance to Tachyon's army and became his confidant. Which means you used your powers as a world-class suck-up to save your own hide. Oh, little column A, little column B. Here, take this. It'll explain everything. Well, the optical relay is damaged, but maybe you can find a ship to play it on. Great! Quit messing around and get over here! 
I have boils that require lancing. <laughs> Coming, Your Excellence. Pray for me. So as usual, maybe Quirk isn't such a terrible guy. So, ah, Crushto. That's his name. So see, there aren't that many challenges. Uh, we just got to have 120 seconds, 120 seconds for this one. No big deal. Just gonna use these up first. Because why not? Eventually, yeah, there we go. I don't... I want to know if we get V5 or V10 this time. Are they, like, one-shotting? Because that's amazing. Whoa, a lucky shot from okay. I'll do some of this, too. Because why not? I imagine it's bound to be able to kill them relatively quickly, at least. It should be doing some amount of damage. Like, you know, maybe three-fourths, two-thirds as much as the... As the Plasma Beasts. So we got Helipods, which are a gadget, which means that I'm going to move them to my other quick-select wheel. Oops, that's not how you do it. You remove them with triangle, and yeah, we're set for now. And then, all right, I'm keeping everything on this one for now. I'll switch that later. Helipods, great. Uh, now, what am I using charger for? Sure. So we only have 120 seconds, like I said, like the game told us. But we're on the next to last round, so it's not a huge concern. You'll notice that the round counter doesn't go up every time we kill all the enemies that have spawned. And that just means that the rounds are not based on that in this game. Which, hey, I don't mind that much. It means we get to kill more stuff. I don't know if bolts disappear, so we do have the concern of them maybe disappearing, but they do come to us at the end of, uh, of the challenge each time. Clearly this weapon is so strong that it doesn't gain experience quick enough for all of these enemies. Okay, everyone's shooting bombs at me. Oh, got hit. Whatever. It's not a don't get hit challenge, so that's fine. There we go. Almost to 30,000. A flaming crag might defeat hordes of gladiators without feeling the wrath of the Emperor's fiery glare. This is a little bit annoying. But we'll make it through. Basically, we just want to stay to either side of the things. I mean, that's simple enough. Uh, I want to use this. You think you're going to mess with me, but you're not. Oh, I didn't actually mean to use that. So let's use this again. Hopefully they're not coming from both sides. Excellent. Pretty good weapon we've got going here. Uh, what is shooting at me? You are. Is that going to kill him? No. Kill you now. No more of those guys. And there are, oh, there, there's one. Two. We got them, though. Nope. Want to use these. Are they one-shotting or something? Because this is crazy. Yeah, it was unnecessary. It was a waste for those guys because they're easy. I do want to get something to V5, though. My gosh, you guys shoot a lot of bomb things at me. Okay, I'm just going to make sure not to get hit by the fiery glare. Because, again, that's in, that's our entire goal. Oh! Okay. Uh, tornado, these guys. Tornado is actually pretty useful on this challenge. Come on. And Quark actually has special things he says when I use that weapon, which is cool. Okay, thank you, Plasma Beasts. I'm proud of you. One thing I didn't mention about the controls in this game is that uh, you actually only strafe with L2, and uh, R2 is specifically for the crouching to, like, throw your wrench and things. Alright. Over 30,000, that's good. There are going to be no weapons for sale or anything. By the way, while we can do the vendor and we can buy our ammo and stuff, there is no reason to. Uh, yeah, okay. Because it gives us full ammo at the start of a challenge. Eliminate all enemies using only your Shock Ravager. Sure, I can do that. So yes, it gives us full ammo, and thus I don't really worry about 
buying it because it'd be stupid. We'd just be giving bolts away for no reason. Oh, hello. You didn't notice our name is Mustachio. Which is pretty great. Okay, you all die, you all die. I do like one-shotting things. Hopefully, I mean, yeah, that was really easy. Smackdown at the disco. Use only your Omni Wrench to fight off these ryth rhythmically challenged gladiators. So basically, a Groovatron is going to activate every so often. And uh, we're just going to wrench him. See? But the problem. This sucks on challenge mode because they have like infinity health and your wrench is not that strong. But for now, we're okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, we can just run around, and then eventually the thing activates the Groovatron, and no longer are we concerned. Or we can we can kill them all with our wrench intermittently as well. I imagine that this one, the rounds will be based on how many, like, the enemies just having spawned. Because this would be annoying if we had to do this, like, 20 times, when in fact there are only four rounds. But we're gonna make it. Maybe we only get one Groovatron per round. Today's consolation prize is an all-expense-paid trip to beautiful Zorn Doom Could be. Prison. Come for the bathhouses. Stay for oh, the Oh, good. We can go social. to the prison. Oh, get out of there. There we go. Up, oh, got hit. That is a concern because if you get hit, probably pretty easy to die. I don't know if this counts towards making these uh, enemies dance from the Groovatron towards the uh, skill point for making every enemy game dance. Oh, you jerk. Right. Hey, hey, hey. Everyone calm down. Good, we got them all grouped up. It means it's really easy to kill them. Or at least, like, most of them at once. Alright, excellent. <laughs> Their dances are pretty great, though. The Groovatron really is, like, the most fun thing. Okay. These guys are gonna die, and it, it does seem to be only one round per spawn thing, which is good. Alright, calm down, jump, avoid all the damage. Excellent. That could not have gone better right there for that moment. There are a lot of enemies, though, so this is going to be an adventure. We're going to have to, like, actually go around killing them. Not taking full advantage of the Groovatron, which is fine, because they're almost all dead. Hey, 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 calm down. I wish that we could... I don't know, actually, if we can stand still and... If we stand still, we dance with the Groovatron. I doubt it, but it'd be cool if we could. Oh, I missed. Alright, that's the challenge there. Get our 5,000 bolts. We have 50,000. That's pretty good. Return of Crushto. 60 seconds. Defeat all gladiators without taking damage. I'll do that first. And then... I mean, it should be doable. You know, I don't expect there to be a problem. Well, there might be if it comes that close continuously. Repeatedly. God, these things are so strong. Almost a V5. Yeah, alright, you guys are maybe the big concern, but at the same time, look at that, this is so effective. Which one are you going for? Oh wow, it has a huge radius, all right? This is almost the end. I love that we one-shot things with this weapon. Two-shot these guys, that's fine. Yeah, this is not too much of a challenge. Alright. Seemed to be worth a lot, though, so that's okay with me. Over 60k. And now we'll just defeat Crushto in under a minute. I'm gonna wait until he spawns, of course. Nice how the that is against our time. Right, you guys should do a little more work here. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, those have stopped doing damage at that point in time. So let's see, what else can we use? We can use the... Oh, calm down. 
At least we're close enough to get a lot of hits on it. I assume it hits multiple times if you hit with more than one shard. Easy dodging. Really, Crushto is such a simple, simple fight. Right, we're almost done. We're coming right up to the right up to the end here. Uh, let's see, what do we want to upgrade with this? Let's see if this will get to B4. Or B5. Looks like no. Alright then, so we are now done with the Imperial Fight Festival for now. That was pretty quick. And we leave from here where we have to use our helipods. And, I mean, there you go. This is the use that you're going to have for them. And then we teleport probably right back to our ship. Look at that. Uh, I am going to buy the armor, of course. Because, you know, reduce 25% of our damage. Always helpful. Still have a ton of money left over. I don't know if we have any rare titanium extra, but I may as well check, right? Uh, no, we don't have enough quite. We're barely short of our damage upgrade there. Have all the weapons. Have all the devices, excuse me. Still don't have this, so we can't get that. Uh, you know, see? Doesn't do anything there. Don't have that gadget. That's fine. That is going to do it for this episode, which was pretty long, but it was only one planet. So... Hey, next time, where are we going? Slag's Fleet or something? No, that's way at the end of the game, I'm pretty sure. But we did just meet Slag. All right, let's find out what Tachyon's up to. Greetings, inferior beings of Polaris. Does your life lack a sense of purpose? Do you constantly worry about finding steady income? Do you like killing stuff? Then join the Imperial Army and aid me in my humble quest for galactic domination. Here you'll travel to new places, meet interesting people, and execute them in the name of me. Hold the phone! Did you just say I could meet interesting people? Why, yes, I did, celebrity hero Captain Quark. That sounds terrific! Tell me more! It's simple. Somewhere in this galaxy is the filthy Lombax secret responsible for the Kragmite defeat. As an official Tachyon trooper, your job will be to ravage every planet until it is found. Leave no stone unturned, no rebel spared. Exterminate anyone who stands in your way! All for a tidy salary and competitive benefits package. Wow, all that and travel too? Indeed. Take the Nundak asteroid ring, for example. Our spies have learned that the secret may be hidden here on this remote moon base. If you sign up by tonight, you can join in on the raid. Emperor Tachyon is an equal opportunity oppressor. Hmm. Do you think this Lombax secret could be the weapon used to vaporize the Kragmites? Whatever it is, we need to get to it before Tachyon does. And so with that, we now know that we can go to the Nundak Asteroid Ring. The Voron Asteroid Belt is the space thing we did. If we fly there, we'll just do the whole level over again, by the way. That's just, I'm pointing it out since it appeared there, and it wasn't there previously. So next time, we're going to go to the Nundak Asteroid Ring. But today, we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.